Hi, this is Paul Neal from Pen Productions. We're going to talk about how I'm going to model this, uh, you know, leather in between here and have it quite optimized. Uh, so, you know, here's what I have so far uh, that I've created. But how did I get to this stage of being able to create this sort of panel? So I'm just going to hide this off and uh, just unpin the stack and go to my top view and, uh, you know, start from here. So I'm actually going to start with a rectangle, not a plane or or anything else or a box or anything of that sort. I'm going to then convert that down to an edible spline. And in the vertex mode with one on the keyboard, you have control A to select all, right click and corner. So with corner, and again, I'll just go back to top. Uh, I'm going to pull all the corners into about the corners that they're going to need to be in. It's far easier to do that when they're all in uh, you know, corner mode. And then I can, uh, once I've got them all, you know, there, gonna have to take a look at it in, you know, sort of all dimensions here because, you know, it's gonna have to get sort of pulled tight um, in between these bars. You can see where all the ties are, and that is going to change up how those uh, are gonna sort of be affected and how it's gonna be pulling on things. So with that said, Control A again, I'm gonna change them all to corner now. And with corner, I can go about, um, you know, pulling these into place. So I'm just going to initiate, initiate the uh, XY here and pull these out and do the same down here to get it to curve. And same with here. I can, you know, start with uh, getting it to curve a bit. And then, of course, it's also going to have to curve the other way, if you notice. So I'm going to have to initiate that axis and it'll probably get pulled up tight like that somewhere and then around on the other side i'm going to have to take a look at that as well try and figure out something that makes some sense once it's all pulled tight so once i have that we want to turn this into a mesh you know this sort of solid mesh and the, Really the easiest way to do this, because I want to make this very dense, I'm going to uh, use the subdivide modif modifier. And so with the subdivide modifier, you're going to get all these triangles. And then I'm going to reduce this size. Carefully, if you spin the spinner down, you can reduce it down so low. You're just going to uh, you know, lock things up. So I'm going to try one. Um, that might be enough, maybe uh, 0.7. That's going to be plenty. So we're going to have tons here. And at this point now, you know, just for uh, sake of seeing the stack, I'm going to go with an edit poly modifier. Really, you should be collapsing it to an edible poly. Um, you know, but at least then you'll sort of be able to see where I'm going with this. I'm going to go to my freeform modeling tools. Most people have them docked across the top. Drives me nuts uh, having them up there because it's just wasting more space and I got to reach more for them actually. I'm going to use the shift brush and open up the uh, drop down that'll probably come down about up here somewhere. And you'll see that by default it's on depth. I want to set it up to spherical so I only grab a spherical area around my brush head. Okay. And then we can go about sort of, you know, creating what looks like little indents and, you know, the idea that it's being pulled tight in those corners. Um, and so I want to be able to pull them up and then go around and model all these. Uh, so they're, you know, kind of looking like it's all pulling tight and, uh, you know, it's, it's getting pulled from either side. And so easiest way to do this is with this modeling uh, brush, you know, instead of trying to do it with, uh, you know, the, uh, the standard sort of poly modeling methods. And we're gonna optimize it after the fact. So I'm gonna go about just doing this and then uh, we'll optimize it. So if you're wondering what the hotkeys for a brush like this are, all you have to do is roll over any of these and it's gonna tell you what they are. Um, you know, how to size the brush, how to, you know, weight the brush in, in any one of these tools, it's going to tell you how to work with them. So that looks pretty good at that point. You know, it's starting to pull tight in there. If I want, I could get real fancy and I could, you know, brush in some, you know, uh, stretch marks and whatever else and create a copy of it uh, as a high res, um, you know, and be able to project my normals. I'm not covering that in this video though. So now what we want to do is we want to optimize this thing down. So 
uh, into a game model. I'm going to use my retopology tool. I'm probably going to need, I'm guessing, maybe 400 faces or so. I'm going to say compute, and that looks pretty good. You know, I've kept most of the outside shape going, um, but you know, I've reduced the poly count a lot. Now I want to might want to reduce it a lot more. So once again, I'm going to add an edit poly modifier, and we're going to go about reducing this down so that it has a lower poly count for video games. In edge mode, um, I'm going to go and start grabbing loops and rings. Now, one of the ways I do all my selections is with the lasso selection, and Q cycles you through those, okay? So that's going to make it far easier for me to be able to grab a selection, and I'm going to grab sort of everything two in from the edge, and then we're going to use the uh, polymodeling tool called collapse, and it's going to be able to collapse. Now, what's nice is the hotkey is simple for that. It's uh, control alt C, so I can literally just go up here and start grabbing these really fast and just optimize these down so that we have less polygons going across it. And once I have those done, then I'm going to go the other way and grab them in this direction. So I'm just going to pick these and double click. And it uh, looks like I've got one less. It would have been nice if that was even. Uh, but hey, you know, maybe I'll grab instead of I'll grab this one and this one. No, I don't think it really matters, does it? I'll take that one and that one for now and see what I come up with. And it looks like it's going right down to that corner. So I'm just going to deselect some of those. And I'm going to deselect that one there. And I'm going to deselect the top couple of rows as well and just optimize those down. And so now you can see we've got a very optimized setup going on. There's, you know, a whole lot less polygons in there. It was very, very quick and easy to make. And, you know, for the most part, it has retained that outer shape. Instead of trying to poly model and pull vertices one at a time, this was a really quick way to get down to an optimized solution that looks good. It's going to look good on the game. You know, maybe we're going to give that a bit of thickness with a shell modifier. And we would be done with it. There you go.